Hi guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a little, what's it called? A little scanning mat because face it, if you got something that looks like this and you try to scan it on something like that, okay, this is my mat that I've had for 10,000 years, it's going to pick up everything and you're not going to be able to do it. Plus, if you see it, it's got pretty sparklies in it, and sometimes the scanner doesn't like that. Okay, so let's get going. Um, what we're going to need is we're going to need just our regular mat. We are going to need a piece. Oh, get, come here. We're going to need a piece of dark contrasting paper, and you're just going to lay it down right on your regular mat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put it on there and kind of smoosh it down. Okay, what I'll do is I'll lay this on here because this is a 12 by 12, um, like, mat uh, overlay there. Okay, so I got that stuck down real good. Now this clear stuff is so hard to see. This is the acetate. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the acetate. Um, everybody's asking what that was when I made those flip-flops. This is what it is. It's just a clear, like, really bendable sheet. But you can do anything with this stuff. Um, you can make anything. You know, if you think about it, you got something that you want to make out of this really cool SVG that you've seen. Um, like a little Bambi deer or something. And you want to make it out of, like, uh, vinyl. What are you going to put it on to make that little deer? Acetate. You slap that 651 Oracle down, cut it out, and there's your little Bambi deer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this down right over top of this. Okay, so what I do is I go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, I put tape up here to tape this little acetate sheet down. Okay, just like this. So it's a little folder. Okay. So we're going to have a little folder here so that we can stick this little doohickey in there. And that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, <clears throat> so there's the sheet. It's laid under the acetate and on top of the brown sheet. It's all ready to go. It's taped down at the top so it's not going to scoot you all over when it shoots through the machine. Okay, so we're ready to give this little doohickey a try. So we're going to come up here oh, and press the scan to cut data. And we're going to let it scan in. Sorry about the shakiness. And the little bell that you hear going off is actually you guys talking to me. So there's not much I can do to help that. Because I don't mind at all. Alright, now it says... Recognizing. So we'll see how pretty this turns out. Because this is a pretty complicated thing and if you notice I turned it upside down because you don't want all those sparklies because sometimes that'll skew the scanner because the light that it kicks out can uh, reflect off of there and give you weird uh, shadows and things like that oh look at there oh come on focus isn't that pretty turned out just like the original so that is ah. Oh. That is how you make your own scanning mat. So anything that you have that's not, let me get this out of here, that's not recognized with the acetate as well, you can use that almost like a dry erase board. Um, you can, oops, sorry about that. You can take a marker, like a black marker, and you can trace around these to give it better definition if it still doesn't pick up. All right, and that's your free homemade jobby. And it works wonderfully, as you can tell. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.